everyone, I'm Molly. Welcome to the Restore Dogwood. If you're new here, thanks for checking us out. Just to let you know what this channel is all about, I am showing you how to fix up furniture that you either have or that you get on Facebook Marketplace or somewhere else, Recycle or what have you, and how to fix it up to make it look amazing, but doing it without adding a lot of chemicals into your life with stuff that you have. And you can even do it in your house or in your garage or your basement. You don't need any special tools. And if you checked out our other videos, thanks for sticking with us. Be sure that you're subscribed. It helps a lot, it's free, and it just helps me out. So thanks for doing that. So today I am showing you how I found a mid-century modern or MCM table on Facebook Marketplace. It is such a popular style right now. I got it on Facebook Marketplace and I'm gonna fix it up for you guys. I hand paint everything as of now, and I have been doing that for two years but I have some new strategies that I'd like to show you to how to make it look really smooth and amazing. And then I do use my paint sprayer, really not for the first time, but I have not had good experiences with it before, but I had a great one here. So be sure to check out the whole video so you can see what I learned. All right, well, that's enough talking. Let's get to painting. So I picked up this little side table, not too far from me, um, from Facebook Marketplace. You can see it's pretty banged up, pretty rough. Structurally, it was okay. It wasn't wobbly or anything. It just had a lot of scratches on the top and other spots. When I got it, I could see that it was uh, totally wood, which is unusual for me. So I was really excited to experiment with the sander and some other stuff to get it looking a lot better than it's looking right now. So the first thing I did was get out my surf prep sander. I love this thing. It is the only expensive piece of machinery that I have. I made this video so long ago, I can't remember what sandpaper grit I'm using. I think I am, I am using the really scratchy one that's uh, kind of the steel wool type. Um, and you can see that I am getting the finish off. It was coming off really easily and I didn't have to worry about blowing through any veneer. So after that, I decided I wanted to try to bleach wood. I'd never done it before. So I diluted some bleach with some water and I rubbed it on the top, just kind of like I'm washing it. I also stripped the sides and the pole, the support poles. And so I bleached those as well. After I was finished, I put it out in the sun for maybe an hour or two to lighten it up. After I was finished, I brought it back and of course I, you can see that it is lighter, but I didn't get any great footage of it, but um, I decided to clean it with some mineral spirits. I don't know if this is what you're supposed to do, but it seemed like a good thing to do. I like to use mineral spirits to clean off goo and other residue and stuff, so that's what I am doing here. All right, now it's time to paint. I decided to go with Country Chic Starstruck, which is a deep navy blue. Unfortunately, I didn't get any footage of me whitewashing the top or the sides. Sometimes I just have a few minutes to paint and so I forgot to set up my camera for that, so I'm sorry about that. But you can see that I am hand painting as usual. Although this time I decided to try a few things differently. I went to, I went around the sides and sort of the crevice areas with my brush and then I went back with a roller brush. I was trying to get a very smooth finish with hand painting and removing brush strokes. I have used a roller in the past, but it's been a while since I used it. I guess I just kind of forgot about it and I fell back in love with rolling. So I will do that again and uh, because everything came out really smooth and exactly the way that I wanted it to. Of course, as I was painting, I was already starting to think about how am I going to top coat this thing. I was a little worried about how I was going to get in there uh, into that sort of sandwiched area with the uh, clear coat. And so I decided I was going to try the sprayer. This is not something that I've had great experience with. I had to get mentally prepared for this. It probably took me about a week or two to really do it. And finally I did and I had such a great experience. Um, you can't really tell from this, but I am spraying with the Country Chic uh, Clear Coat. It's coming out really smooth and evenly. 
I was really surprised. Uh, this is the first time using the top coat, but other times I've tried to spray something, it just did not work at all. And this time it worked really great, so I was really excited about that. I will definitely be spraying the top coat again sometime soon. So here it is when it's drying. Can you tell that I sprayed it? Because I definitely can. I didn't see any strokes there. It was pretty perfect. So here's a reminder of our little table, what it looked like before with its good bones but bad finish. And here it is, all fixed up. I love the clean lines and I love how the bleached wood top and the sides came out. They came out exactly the way I was picturing them in my head. The handles are actually original. I did not spray paint them like I usually do. All I did was shine them up with some hot water and vinegar and a steel brush. I think that was really amazing. I lined the drawer with some leftover liner that I had from a small business. I love my new strategy on how to hand paint something and make it really nice and smooth looking. You guys will definitely be seeing me do that again. And also the air spraying of the top coat. I love how it came out. Thanks for watching guys. Make sure to subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye.